Number 66, the headlights of a car are 1.3 meters apart. What is the maximum distance at which the eye can resolve these two headlights? All right, so uh, what we need to do is we need to use our two formulas, right? This represents, the theta represents the um, angle of resolution. So that's a function of a constant here, 1.22, the wavelength of the light divided by then the diameter of the particular aperture. In this case, the aperture is the pupil, okay? The light in which in which the light is passing, the hole in which the light is passing through, basically. Um, so in order to figure out theta, I need to figure out uh, what wavelength they're talking about, and they didn't give me a wavelength of the problem. So what do you think that means? Well, we have to make an assumption. And what happens when you assume? I think you know the rest. So let's just think this through. The second formula we're gonna use is the arc length formula. All right, remember this formula basically says that the minimum angle of resolution multiplied by the distance between the viewer, like the person, and this car will equal then the distance between the two points that are trying to be resolved, AKA the headlights. So we want to find the maximum distance right, at which the eye can resolve these. In other words, we want to find that maximum r, the maximum distance between the person and the car. So if I had to divide out theta then, I would find r. And if I realize then, if I want to maximize r, right, if I have to maximize r, then I have to minimize, mathematically speaking, the angle of resolution. If I have to then minimize the angle of resolution, and I don't know the wavelength, I'd have to minimize the wavelength. Right, in other words, I probably should use the smallest wavelength possible, <clears throat> okay? And the smallest wavelength, right, correlates with what type of light? It would correlate with like violet light, okay? Like around three, 380 nanometers. Now you can plug that in, all right? But, uh, you know, it, light uh, from a car is all spectrum. So it's, you know, so you might not... <laughs> You know, should you plug in just that value? I don't know, right? Uh, you know, maybe we take the average. Uh, there could be a couple of ways that you could answer this reasonably. So I don't know. I'm just going to take the average of the wavelength of uh, visible light, which is about 550. But feel free to choose a different value, like uh, like I said, 380, if you think it should be that. All right. Um, so this is 550 times 10 to the minus ninth nanometers divided by D. Right, the distance between uh, the pupil, 0.4 centimeters it said, so that's 0.4 times 10 to the minus two. I'm not even gonna calculate that because basically all I'm gonna do is over here, I'm gonna bring the theta out and I'm gonna plug this thing on in, right? And then my L value, the distance between the headlights, they told me was 1.3 meters. So there's now your formula, all right? With everything needing to be plugged in. So obviously this is a big division sign uh, right here. So it's 1.3 divided by that whole denominator. So 1.3 divided by now parentheses 1.22 times 550 times 10 to the minus ninth divided by 0.4 times 10 to the minus two. Close those parentheses <clears throat> and we get a we get a distance here right between the car and the person of about 7.75 times 10 to the third meters. That's about 7.75 kilometers. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope that helped. Keep in mind, all right, the assumptions behind the problem. And uh, also keep in mind that I'm assuming you're subscribing. That'll make me happy. I'll see you in the next one. And liking. And telling your friends.